uh, Andy Bell, who's in Westminster, under the Five News umbrella because of the, the cover of the rain. And Swilla Braverman, Andy, I'm sure you've been watching her very closely today. She's been needing to take a bit of cover as well because that, that fire is being directed at her by some people. Yeah, certainly among some of her colleagues, they are unhappy about the language that was used. And uh, Downing Street today, the Prime Minister's official spokesman said that Britain would always be a compassionate, welcoming country. It felt like that was a little bit of an attempt to correct the kind of language that had been used by the Home Secretary yesterday. But in the end, she will be judged by results. And Downing Street, Rishi Sunak, absolutely also very keen to get this problem under control. She'll be judged on the results in the specific uh, first case on what happens at Manston, that the pressure can be relieved there. And also also as to whether she can sort out the asylum system, which she herself described yesterday as broken. And there are a number of big issues which we've discussed a lot in the last few weeks that the Prime Minister is currently looking at. Hold on to that brolly, by the way, Andy. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding on. I'm holding on fast here. Um, yes, I mean the big one coming down the track is that big autumn statement on November the 17th, where the government is going to attempt to set out a credible plan for dealing with the economy. Now, Rishi Sunak yesterday had a meeting with his uh, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt. The briefings that came out after that were making it absolutely clear that this is not going to be any kind of giveaway statement. It's going to be a tough one involving probably spending cuts and tax rises. So there does seem to be an attempt to prepare the ground for everybody to what's coming our way in just over two weeks' time. So we may not know exactly what they have in store for us, but we do know it's going to be rough and involve everyone paying more tax. This economic think tank agrees with that. The best estimates at the moment are that the government has a £40 or £50 billion pound fiscal hole they need to fill. And given the history of uh, sort of long-term uh, cuts to public spending, the difficulties with uh, healthcare backlogs and uh, wanting to increase defence spending, means you can't do all of this with spending cuts. So they're going to have to be some tax rises as part of the announcements. So what are the government options to fill that hole? Well, here are some of the most likely measures being considered. Freeze the income tax threshold so more people end up paying the higher rate. Cut spending on infrastructure projects like HS2. And hold down public sector pay for millions of workers. That will be politically very difficult to make stick. Health service workers are already balloting for strike action. 350,000 of them are Unison members. News that their pay may not uh, increase this year and there may be more misery on the way next year is likely only to inflame that situation, as well as sending a strong message that this government has no plan to get us out of the hole that we're in in the NHS. But at this South London cafe, there's little appetite for what the government may be cooking up in terms of higher taxes. Certainly not from Denise. Am I allowed to swear? No. <laughs> oh, well, well, I think there's a load of... What, well, I mean, we're paying enough tax as it is. When you're doing the overtime, you're not getting it because it's all going on tax anyway, so it's not worth the doing it any time. I think it's, I think it's disgusting. We found Kat in for a birthday treat with her dad. She is a homemaker, so does she feel she's already taxed enough? Oh, very, very much so. Very, very much so. But where there's a will, there's a way, and you always manage. But if they came and said, right, I'm afraid you need to pay some more tax, your then reaction? It would, it would make things very difficult and very uncomfortable. Eric's a black cab driver. What does he think should happen? Cut spending. Or take the taxes from those that can afford to pay more, i.e. BP. They've just announced £9.5 or whatever it is in the first quarter. Profits? One thing's for sure, we are going to have to pay somehow whatever is being prepared for us. Andy Bell, 5 News.